Oftentimes when you're using an enhanced classroom, you'll walk in, turn on your computer and the projector, and what you see on the projector screen is different from what you see on the computer screen. Now, this is what's known as an extended desktop, and it's an issue that seems to cause confusion for a lot of people, so we want to try and help you get around that. So right now, we have um, what's called a duplicated display. And what that means is that the computer's display and the projector's display are the same thing. Okay, so what it has to do is it has to match the resolution and everything else. Um, this is the setup a lot of people like to use, so I'm going to leave it there for right now. I'll show you how I got back to the screen in just a moment. Now, if you're doing something like a PowerPoint and you go to presentation mode, what you see on the screen on the computer will be the same thing as what is on the projector. And we can see we go through our slides and that's it. Now some people like to use the um, extended monitor. So what we do is I right click on top of the desktop and go to screen resolution. And instead of saying duplicate these displays, I say extend these displays then I hit apply and what we're gonna see is that we are getting different resolutions now okay so I'm gonna keep the changes here and just for demonstration purposes I'm gonna change this back to the resolution I had before so I can hit apply and still keep my screen recording here so I'm gonna keep my changes and as I'm recording now, I'm going to show you the difference with PowerPoint if I have an extended display. When I click on Slideshow now, I'm going to go back up to the top. What I end up seeing is what's called presenter mode. Okay, and the advantage to this is it allows me to see the current slide as well as the next slide. When I transfer over to the next slide, if I have a slide here and I made notes, so for instance, if I was giving a presentation about uh, instructional technology and media services, I might have notes for my bullet points so that I'm not just reading right off the slide. I can read the notes that are over here and I can still see my next slide. Um, using presenter mode with something like PowerPoint gives you a lot more options than if you were just using a duplicated display. So I'll go ahead and end this slideshow. And as you can see here, this is the computer display, and this is what's being displayed on screen right now. So if I want to switch this back so that the display so that the displays are duplicated again, where I have multiple displays on the screen resolution, I click on the drop down and I say duplicate these displays and click apply. Then they should be duplicated again, and the resolution is set and I can say OK here and that's all there is to it. So remember all you need to do is right click with the mouse to pull up the contextual menu and click on screen resolution and if you want to have the screen on the computer be the same as the screen on the monitor you select duplicate these displays. If you want to have a presenter mode like I showed with the PowerPoint that has the speaker notes and shows you what next slide is coming up, you would select extend these displays. So it's very easy to switch back and forth and we hope that this video helps clear up some confusion.